Welcome everyone to Ring the Bell, this is DS, and we have two very special guests today. First of all, the returning Logan Z! I'm back by popular demand. Very fabulous. F A B U L O U S. <laughs> yes! I have to do it to you guys one more time. And then we have a very new guest, Iridian from Rest Friend. Yes! Hello, thank you for having me. Rest Friend, have you guys checked out? Best Friend, but for wrestling. Yes, yeah. so wrestling best friends. Yes, make sure you check it out. Today I'm here on Ring the Bell and I'm super excited, and you look great. No, you look amazing. Oh my god, stop. Big Nikki no. Bell fan. Can I get an autograph? <laughs> You're serving. The burnett hair one. What was this like WrestleMania circle? Uh, WrestleMania when she won the uh, battle royale, right? She, she did win the battle royale. She, she popped did. up. And was like, oh, yes. I literally <laughs> forgot about that. Yeah, this is like our Halloween episode, so really yes. cool. Kind of in the mood. Did you not tell. We're doing it pretty well, yes. right? I think we're right. slaying we're Halloween guys. Let's get right into this week's news and rumor. What is a pay-per-view that we've been asking for for a year? Where is my evolution? Exactly! Where is my evolution? What a f***ing evolution it's Where? been a year! But Shayna Baszler did announce something to kind of appease. It is all women's NXT live show. Ooh! Yeah. Yeah. Uh, They're giving us a little, not a lot. It's still not... The same thing as Evolution. Last week, an NXT live show in Jacksonville, Florida. Shayna Baszler made a little announcement with all the NXT women out in the ring. They were like, we're going to have the first ever NXT live with just women in the roster. Okay. So that was a big announcement. It's very cool. It's really cool. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. Um, but two things. It's not Evolution. <laughs> <laughs> we're like, yes. we're not going to get all the stars we want. We'll take it. I don't think it's announced to be a WWE Network special or anything. Gotcha. Or pay-per-view or anything. Pay-per-view. What do we yeah. think? I don't know. It would be really 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 cool if they just aired it on one of their Wednesday slots. Oh, that instead would be really of the cool. show, yeah. yeah. That would be they really cool. just did all that. We don't really have a program like that on TV. I know we have WOW, but mm -hmm. I don't know. WOW is like, okay. Yeah. But I think NXT, if we had that for like a Wednesday, just all women, mm -hmm. whether it be like an hour or two hours, I think that'd be really cool. I think they can definitely take their, the two hour slot and use that. Yeah. I think that would I mean, be great. If you're not going to give us evolution, you can at if least give us You're not going to give us the pay-per-view. Yeah. For their credit, NXT has been doing a pretty good job putting yeah. like two segments or matches every yeah. week and yeah. they've been building women's division pretty well yeah. I will say way better than AEW <laughs> yeah I mean what I love about NXT though I feel like the NXT the girls there it's a little bit more intense than yes. like Smackdown and Raw it's a little For bit sure. more intense and I love it and I'm like the kicks to the face the slaps on so ever they do it I'm like <laughs> yeah even compared to, to AEW I feel like it's a little bit more um, yeah. athletic compared to AEW is a little more theatric it'll be really cool if this is really gonna happen I'm, I'm down will I fly out for it Mm, not sure, but <laughs> we'll think about it. It's a really exciting event. Will we host a watch party? Maybe, Maybe. for yeah. sure. <laughs> if it's on network, I will definitely do a watch party for this. This yeah. is going to be pretty cool. On Raw, we saw Paige. Oh, Paige is back. I'm back. For one second, though. Really. <laughs> My girl took a few words to her bogus. <laughs> Come on. She's fired. Oh. Well, she's fired. No, she's fired by Kabuki Warriors. Oh, okay. 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 I was like, wait, I don't think I read that. That's bogus. That's even more yeah. shit. There's some news on why Paige was fired by um, Kabuki Warriors. It's because Kabuki Warriors have been super duper cool lately. Popping without her. They're like, yeah. we don't need you. Paige. Yeah, they've been popping without her, but also they've been just getting cheers everywhere. Even in the Australia tour, they had a match against Iconics, but Kabuki Warriors got a lot of cheers. Yeah, even though they're the heels. Mm -hmm. Even against Iconics with Australian Which are, Yeah. So WWE is like, we have to somehow find a way to make them booed. And you know what? They did get booed, but I wasn't booing them after the Oscar <laughs> spray. I up. lived for it. I was like, oh my God, yes. Okay, I did finally. live for it. I did live for it, but I did boo. You <laughs> <laughs> said yes. I was boo. like, uh, how dare you do my girl page like that? She's looking mighty good. But then after that, I was like, that was cool. I live for the poison mess. I live, oh. it's a like very circa like 2000 one attitude era WWE mm -hmm. to Jerry bringing yeah. it back. So yeah. it's like really, really cool. And I want to see it every single time Asuka's on TV now. So yes. if my girl Paige had to take the blow. I mean, Paige still is getting coins by being on backstage. Oh, WWE, yeah, yeah. WWE backstage. Yeah. So she's got that. The rumor is that she asked to be in Asuka Lock, hmm. but the medical didn't give her a go. She's itching. She's <laughs> itching to get in the ring yeah. and do something. She's ready. All right. This is just in. WWE announced this morning that Lacey Evans and Natalia will have the first ever women's match in Saudi Arabia at WWE Crown Jewel. We will host the first ever WWE women's match 
in Saudi Arabia. The match was made official during a press conference for Crown Jewel. Previously, Alexa Bliss and Natalya have traveled to Saudi Arabia for a potential match, but was denied on having the actual match. Last night, it was reported that Lacey Evans, Natalya, and Lana, they are traveling to Saudi Arabia. And with limited rights in Saudi Arabia, putting on a women's match is a significant, significant move for WWE. And I also personally believe Natalya and Lacey, they're really solid but safe choice for the first women's match in this kingdom for sure. It's an exciting development for the Crown Jewel pay-per-view and Lacey's woman's right might have a significant influence on the girls of Saudi Arabia watching this match. On Raw, we saw a debut of NXT woman. Yes, Carolina. What do we know about Carolina? What do we know? So she's from Chile. She has been doing house shows for NXT. Very cool. But she has not been performing on the NXT brand. She's doing house shows. Basically skipped so it. So she skipped it and now she's on the main roster. We've seen Cara. I'm wondering what she can do. I have a question. Does she always wear the mask? Or no. Same? So this is her face. There was a profile on the Performance Center. She did not wear a mask before. So she was part of South America three-day tryout in December of 2018. So Wait. they were impressed then. Yeah. I'm interested to see if they're going to keep the mask on her because then she would be the only woman on the main roster to wrestle with the mask yeah, on. Dude, that's, yeah, that's, that's what I thought was really cool. I was like, oh, we haven't seen that. Yeah, so mm -hmm. now she's like a mystery. And, and then I feel she like gave uh, Little Miss Thing her Little Miss Thing, Zelina. Yeah, Zelina. <laughs> I was just like, she gave her a little run for her money, but you know, Zelina. <laughs> still came out on top. So Paloma told me a lot of people texted her asking if it was her. Oh god, <laughs> I would have died. I would have died if it was We're Paloma. Paloma, is that you? Next news on Nikki Cross. Nikki Cross is current number one contender for the SmackDown Women's Championship. The Exciting. question is, when's that match happening? Yeah, because we don't get them at Crown Jewel, so. And also the next pay-per-view, Survivor Series. And that's yes. when usually and that's champion versus champion happen, or the yeah. elimination match happen. So right now the talk is that it's going to be one of the SmackDown, they're going to have the Women's championship match. Oh. SmackDown's really been serving it. I've just been like, SmackDown has really been giving it with yeah. these matches. I could see it main eventing a SmackDown. Me though. too. Yeah. Nikki versus Bailey? Yeah. Bailey's been kind of getting these closing uh, main events lately, so we'll True. see. True. I mean, with go. her heel level. They're really trying to hype it up, so they might yeah. do it. I'm kind of lukewarm about it. <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, hey, we're not saying beginning. that it's going to be great. <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll picture it, because yeah. Sasha's going to be ringside, you know. Yeah. And Alexa's going to be ringside. Where is Alexa? Anyway, a lot of questions, a lot of questions. Here's some cute news from Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch tweeted out she would whoop the entire AEW women's locker room's ass. I think she could. <laughs> I think she could. I love her. There's an awesome Kong in there. I know. I know. I would like to see her try. Did you hear about the little feud between Seth Rollins and Jim Ross? No. So Seth Rollins called AEW WWE's minor league. Yeah. And Jim Ross was actually really upset about it. He's so offended. <laughs> really? Seth Rollins has been kind of dicey on Twitter. Yeah. I love it. But he's always like that. That's yeah, it's nothing like something new. To say. Yeah, yeah, he's got a dick pic out there, like all that stuff. Yeah. Who doesn't have the dick pic out there? <laughs> on that, Jim Ross is like, I just hope he's as over as Becky one day or something. Like, there was some little That's like Twitter feud. Good yeah. for Becky. Yeah, I mean, good for you. Like, she really has a lot of bark and a lot of bites. So. Yeah, she's doing her thing. So. If they want to make a little crossover, let's do it. Like, they <gasps> want to do a WWE Imagine versus that, AEW. A crossover night. Pay per view? Ooh. Is this unprofessional? No. Um, people do crazier things on Twitter. I mean, the man, like, I feel like this is kind of up her alley. This is what she would do. I feel like it would be off brand if she didn't say Yeah. Anything. No, I like it. Yeah, I, I really like it. That was so, the question. I was like, huh? <laughs> Yeah, let's go for it. It's wrestling. <laughs> this is wrestling. Let's talk about our formal Divas champion, Caitlyn, aka Celeste Bonin. She just won a women's championship. Oh. Yeah. yeah. So she became the Slam Force Africa's women's champion. Hmm. And I think it's the first of its kind. Oh. She just had this match in South Africa against Katie Forbes mm -hmm. of Impact Now yeah. and WOW and Black Widow. And she picked up the win and became the new champion. Yay. Good for her. Yeah, yeah okay. Her. She retired from wrestling in 2014 from WWE, but she made her little indie return in 2017. She was on May Young Classic. Looking good. Looking very good. She looked very close to Ruby Riot last time we saw her in WWE. Remember yeah. Robbie Union? Yeah, yeah, you're right, actually. Yeah. I was like, very, but Ruby Riot wishes. <laughs> She looked like Caitlyn. So. Which hairstyle do you prefer? Definitely the first, like when it's choppy and it's kind of short and it's very edgy. Because it suits her look really well. Yeah. yeah. And, and it's, and it's yeah. so pretty. It was kind of an interesting look. I like it. It was interesting, but it worked for her. It stood out. Some haircuts are not for Vanity. everybody. And yeah. Bailey can prove that. Ah! <laughs> 
lastly, let's talk about Summer Rae Danielle Monet because she also made her wrestling return this week. She was in Australia. Oh, really? Yes, yeah, so all these past divas in different continents. Like, <laughs> yeah. They're like, all right, I got this. They're yeah. showing up. Where has Summer been? She was on Ring the Bell once. Okay. Where has <laughs> she, she been, just like, like, wrestling-wise? No, so this was her first return yeah, since return. WWE. Okay, well, yeah. This is her first official wrestling return in the ring. She had a triple threat match with Emma, Tennille Dashwood, and Mortal. I don't know much about Mortal, but Mortal won that entire match. Oh, damn. So. <laughs> oh. Here I am, like, I was oh, like, Summer. come on, Summer, you I, got like, this. You're in ring here. Yeah, like, they never really gave her uh, enough shining moment. They did. <laughs> I liked her on Total Divas, but on wrestling, I was kind of just like, give her more. Give her something to do. Is there any formal divas that you want to see return in an indie scene? AJ Lee. <laughs> Oh, definitely, yeah. You I know how, like, like, CM Punk wrestles? Every now and then. Every now and then. Key. In, like, yeah. fake name. Yeah, with, like, a and mask stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I want AJ to do something like that. I think AJ. <laughs> Somebody that I really, really enjoyed, and I'm pretty sure you guys might light me up for this, I really, really liked Cameron from the Funkadactyls. I love Cameron! I loved Cameron. I know, like, she always got flat because she wasn't, like, a great wrestler. She I would love to see if she maybe went to the Indies and gave it another shot. She's always teasing a return. She's <laughs> always teasing always. a return. And I'm just like, don't do this to me. Yeah, you know? I do want to see the Eva Marie. <laughs> Oh, you want to see Eva Marie back? I just want to see that storyline and like, where are they going? She always um, sees a comeback too. Yeah, yeah she I does. Like she and she's got like, yeah. her hair is not purple now. It's purple. It's like she did blue, Big Brother. Yeah, yeah, she did Celebrity Big Brother. Yeah. yeah, Actually, she recently did this like Instagram story wearing her gear. Huh. Oh. Well, she's got like her mm. podcast going on too, she's, right? Oh. Yeah, she's got a podcast. It's mostly her husband talking. Oh, and she's just there? <laughs> I don't like that. I don't know. I don't listen to it. <laughs> that is this week's news and rumor. Thank you for joining in. Where can we find you, Logan? Zass. You can find me on Instagram at Logan Zass. What about you, Iridian? And you can find me at Iridian underscore Fiero and on YouTube at Rest Friends. Yeah, check it out! And you can find me at Ring the Bell DS on Twitter and DS Shin on Instagram. Bye!